Hey guys, we're here for a week seven update of my 12 week challenge. If you're wondering what the deal is with the sunglasses and everything, I'm on vacation at the beach for a week. So we're gonna discuss uh, what it's like to be on vacation while trying to follow your meal plan and everything that you're trying to do. So I'll, I'll do my best here. If you hear a lot of noise, it's because the kids are in the pool and there are people working on landscaping right across the street. So it's a little noisy. I'll do the best I can. But uh, one of the first things I wanted to talk about since last week, the biggest change that I made was focusing more on intermittent fasting. And uh, I went from, because typically I only intermittent fast for 12 to 13 hours, but this time I bumped it up and went uh, 16 to 17 hours for three days in a row. And it was like liposuction on my midsection. It was insane the difference that I saw between, you know, just making that little change. And that's one of the things that fascinates me so much about intermittent fasting is um, just how it works. And so I've still been sticking to plant-based, even though we've been at the beach. Um, my uncle made some fried fish last night and all I hear is, is how delicious and amazing it was. So I'm like, next year, next year, I'm gonna have some next year. Uh, but, so I've been exercising. I took a few days off between overtraining and I had a slight, just like a little virus last week that I was fighting off. So once we got here, the the place that we're staying is just wonderful for walking and riding bicycles and these people are loud and noisy. I apologize, but we're having a good time. And this is the only time I'm gonna day drink is when I'm on vacation because you can't be at the beach and not have a margarita. So anyway, back to exercise, I brought, I've been using the iPad to do my yoga, thank goodness, because I've noticed a big difference I took a few days off from doing yoga and I noticed a big difference in my shoulders, like just the tightness. And so um, I started doing that as soon as we got back here and it, it it's just helped tremendously. And um, I may have overdone it yesterday, but I'm not paying for it yet. I went for a 3.2 mile walk. I just took a walk. And then my family and I got on the bicycles and we took the kids a mile and a half later, they were wanting to go back, so we took the kids back for Mimi to take care of, and then my husband and I went back out, went another three miles, he wanted to go back, I wanted to stay out, so I ended up going seven and a half miles on the bike, um, and I'm fussing at myself, like, God, don't overdo it, don't overdo it, because I tend to do that, but I just, I was hungrier yesterday than usual, but um, I mean, that's to be expected whenever you take a 10 mile route between walking and um, going on the bicycle. But anyway, I mean, the, the intermittent fasting, I've been doing that since we got here. I've been going about 14 to 15 hours and um, it's, it's just going very nicely. I actually posted a picture of my daughter and myself on the beach. Um, I guess kind of a motivational type, you know, something there. But um, anyway, so if you wanna check that out, but one of the, one of the things that I noticed between the picture of last year and this year, I have not lost any weight, but my legs are tighter and more toned. And I'm sitting there going, oh my gosh. And I showed it to my husband and he said, well, I don't know, can I, t I, I can tell a difference. I, I, I really can tell a difference like in my calves and my quads and everything. So um, it's never too late to give it a shot. And that's one of the things that I'm gonna preach and preach and preach is that consistency, don't give up, small habit changes, just keep going. Progress over perfection. But um, anyway, that's it for this week. And um, I will see you next week when I'm back at home.